All right, so welcome back to the second channel. Last time I was in this gym, I had a terrible session. Fingers crossed, this won't be as terrible because I have something really important coming up. I'm gonna tell you guys about it later, but before I do that, I wanna get started. It should be easy, but you never know, especially in this gym, that grades are pretty hard. Whoa. Oh, that's a hard yellow. Well, that's also how I started my last session here. I was like, oh, that's a hard yellow and that's a hard red. And then I was just in really bad shape. I don't think that's the case now though. Uh, I think actually for once I'm in a pretty decent shape. Oh, I feel strong. The thing is when I started these videos like five years ago, uh, no wait, it's like six, seven years ago, 2017, that's when I started YouTube. Uh, I like, I didn't warm up that well, but now after I've gotten older, I'm turning 36 in three days from now. And uh, now I have to warm up a little bit better. I'm still not great at warming up, but I do warm up more than I used to do seven years ago. Okay. so. Orange is one grade harder than yellow. The next one would be red tape. Uh, and that's the second hardest grade. I gotta move you guys over. I'm alone in the gym uh, today. It's only you and me. And I have a lot to talk about in this video, uh, but I'm gonna do that while I'm resting. So I'm just gonna keep warming up and then talk about some exciting stuff. Yeah, that is, was not so easy. But I do feel good today. I'm gonna try all the comp bowlers downstairs now. And this time I'm gonna time it to see exactly how much time I spend trying all the eight problems. Uh, because in about a week from now, I'm doing a competition again, this time in the UK. A very big, I mean, not, not a World Cup or anything, but pretty high level competition with a lot of big names. Like some of the best climbers from the UK. And the UK has a lot of strong climbers. So I've been training a little bit harder the last two weeks, uh, trying to get in shape for that. I decided about two weeks ago, so I haven't trained that long. But I think I've come a long way just in two weeks of like pretty intense training. I feel a lot stronger than I did like just a couple of weeks ago. I think there's a final with eight people. So my goal is to make finals, um, but even making finals is gonna be really hard. I don't know exactly who's gonna be there yet, but probably some big names. You can come with me. And also today, at the end of the video, I'm gonna do like a training session. I haven't done that in a very long time. Um, I think it's fun to do some training at the end of the session. These bowlers are so nice. They just, it's so nice and clean the wall, you know? It's uh, when there's just like one bowler per line, it just makes me want to climb it. These are usually pretty hard. So if you've seen videos from this gym before, you've seen me try these, you have like a list. So you write your name and you write all the bowlers that you've done. And at the end of every month, we do like a raffle where there's a winner and, and stuff. But Usually no one does all of them, so they're usually very, very hard. The question is shirt or no shirt? Shirt or no? I think no shirt. So there are eight bowlers in total. I'm gonna try to do all of them. I'm gonna time it on my phone to see how long I spent. I think the pacing is really important and it is also important for competitions to be able to pace yourself. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. And I also have to move the camera in between everything, so that's gonna take a little bit extra time. Ooh, that was not good. Okay, that was one.
two out of eight. I think I gotta start trying some of the harder ones now. So that one was harder. I think they're gonna get way harder. The last few are gonna be really hard. Okay. Now the red one, I think that's the hardest one. And all these boulders are just so nice, really well set. I love this uh, style of climbing. Oh yeah, I feel strong on that move. Okay, that's five. So after this, I only have the slabs left, but they're really hard, I think. All right, now the slabs. And I have six, I spent six minutes. Okay, so this is freaking weird. Dino to the left, and then basically go up without using your arms at all here. Very hard slab. Oh my God, that is so heinous. Okay, oh, just one more. Okay, so I spent eight minutes and 30 seconds. So the time, fucking piece of shit. So the time was 8.50. I'm pretty happy with that. That's like one minute per boulder. And there's another thing that I wanted to talk to you about uh, because on my website, altitudeclimbing.com, we're launching a new fair of falling course with Hazel. If you don't know Hazel, she's one of the bravest climbers I know. She's climbed a bunch with Alex Honnold. She climbs trad. She does things that I would never do. Um, and she's super good at dealing with fair. She has this method that she's been teaching for a very long time and it's very different from how people think that you train fear of falling. Uh, she has a very different approach and she can basically teach anyone uh, to overcome the fear of falling in six weeks. Right now we have a mini training session at altitudeclimbing.com forward slash fair. Uh, you can check that out, it's for free. And also you can take a test. So basically you score, uh, or we can score where you are on the scale, like how scared are you? I'm gonna do some training, because I haven't done, done that in a very long time. And I think, I mean, that is also part of what I do normally. I wanna be as authentic as possible in these uh, videos. So one of the biggest mistakes that people do before competitions is not resting enough. I've done that mistake so many times uh, growing up. And also before competitions, now it's, I mean, this is not a very important competition or anything, but at the same time, I wanna try to do my best, you know? Uh, so uh, I'm gonna take it at least semi-seriously. And um, the main thing I have to remember is to rest enough beforehand. You don't need to necessarily rest the day before, but that week leading up to it, you should be very careful. And uh, normally I would probably do like a hangboard session, something more static, but since this is very close to the competition and a lot of the competitions are very explosive, I wanna do some campus boarding. Um, so I'm basically just gonna see how far I can go, like one, five, eight, uh, maybe try one, five, nine. And of course it's important to do one side and then the other side, uh, so you get symmetry. One, five. Eight. Oh yeah, that felt good. I think the, this is not standard though. 
I've seen a lot of videos of people doing crazy stuff on the campus board and usually it's when it's not standard. I think the standard is something weird like 21 centimeters or something. All right, so now I went up left hand first, right? What was it? Yeah, I think so. So now I'm gonna go right hand first. I'm actually not sure, I forget which one. Yeah, I'll just think so. Okay, so that was 158. And the, the competition I'm doing in the UK, that's a boulder competition. But when I competed, I used to compete in lead. And uh, a lot of people find that strange because I have more the body of a boulder. Uh, lead climbers tend to be more skinny. But um, when I started competitions in, what was it? Two, year 2001 or something, 2000, there were no youth bouldering comps. So I had to do lead and yeah, that's how it started and that's what I just kept doing it because that's what I knew. But maybe looking back at it, maybe I would have been a better boulder uh, if I competed in bouldering, but I'm not sure though. I think even though I am a little bit heavier, I do have pretty good endurance. Okay, try 159. Oh yeah, easy. <laughs> I forgot again, which hand did I go up? I did left hand, right? Yeah, yeah, I did left hand. Yeah. It was actually easier going left hand first though, I think, than the right hand. It's something weird because I am stronger with my right hand. You would think that if you go first left hand, that's the one you're really pulling with, but for some reason it doesn't feel like that. So the next thing here would be to do one, six, 10, I think. I go shirtless for this last part. It's good to have a good session now, uh, especially now since uh, I need a little bit of confidence uh, before going to the UK. So we also have a lot of other plans in the UK. Feels good. Not sure if I can do it with the other hand though. Yeah, that wasn't so bad actually. Well, I feel good. I think I'm just gonna end the session there, do a really quick session. Uh, I'm probably gonna have two more sessions, I think, before going to the UK. Um, and uh, we're gonna post that video on the main channel. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Also check out the Fair of Falling course on altitudeclimbing.com forward slash fair. And I will see you next time. <coughs> How's the light looking here? Is this how you... Okay, enough flexing.